come here with a single agenda, which is to help the poorest people on the planet who are already suffering from the impacts of human-induced climate change. And we needed a Glasgow facility on loss and damage finance here. 138 developing countries put language in the text yesterday. It got removed overnight. It's not there anymore. It's been replaced by an offer for a dialogue. That's all they want to do, a dialogue. Disappointing? Absolutely disappointing and totally unacceptable. Does that make unacceptable. this whole a failure? Sorry? Does this make this whole agreement a failure? As far as I'm concerned, it is a failure. For us, loss and damage is not just about a dialogue. It's about in being able to fully implement the changes that we have advocated for years now. The idea is that we've got almost 200 countries, we need everybody to agree, it's a consensus-led negotiation. There are a number of enormous gains we've made or achievements we've had in this particular COP. You know, like I mentioned, oceans, etc. Uh, the fact that we have 1.5 degree put in there, the fact that there's a recognition of coal and fuel contributing to the rise in temperatures, recognition of the fact that these industries receive subsidies, I think they're huge strides uh, from that perspective. Um, so, of course, you know, we always like things better. Uh, we would have liked much stronger language and loss and damage, but we understand we need to go through a particular process. Uh, I do think it's fair to say that uh, we did keep 1.5 alive. It's also worth remembering that if this hadn't succeeded, then it would have been a catastrophe because then we wouldn't have revisited NDCs until 2025. For the Africa team, we got about 60% what we hoped. We have an ambitious adaptation program moving forward. We've made progress on finance. We've made a little bit of progress on loss and damage. Um, we would have liked to have made more progress on dependent, you know, dependable finance for adaptation. But we definitely got a very strong sort of moral engagement from the EU and from the US. Taking a step back, it is remarkable that we're discussing these questions in a UN climate conference of coal power. Um, these have never been on um, the agenda squarely like they are now in black and white in the text. Um, and although we didn't get as far as we would have wanted, and there's some flaws in the text to be sure, um, we still see a recognition that coal power is a critical issue.